Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Welcome back to the garage. Today, we're gonna to be doing the fluid changes on this 500 Ranger. As you can see, I've got everything ready to go. We've got our AGL for the transmission, our demand drive for the front diff, our oil change kit for, of course, the engine, and bring this guy over here, our uh, drive angle fluid for the rear differential. Now, the oil that I'm using is the Polaris PS4 uh, Extreme Duty or Heavy Duty, which is a 10W50. This is what I run in all my machines. You can also use the 5W50. This works perfectly fine as well in the motor. So, let's get into this. Let's go through. We'll start off with the front diff. We'll go to the engine, the transmission, and the rear diff. We'll just go right in order as they go. So. Let's get into this. Okay, so I got the tire off here. Now you don't have to take the tire off, but it makes it easier to get in here. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is take our inner splash guard off. So using a T25, remove the four screws. And remove your panel. Now using an eight millimeter Allen, working from the top and using your ratchet, you're gonna get your check fill plug taken out. There we go. All right, so it's loose. We're gonna open it up. And like I said, this works a lot better working from the top through the access panel hole. All right, so like I said earlier, just come right down through the top here and you can get to that fill check plug. Now, we're gonna come down here to the bottom of the machine, and right here in this front hole, right here, there's the drain plug for the diff, all right? So using a 7 16 we're gonna take this plug out and drain the front diff. All right, let me get under here. Break free. Don't we go too crazy. Put that oil pan under there. All right. I don't think there's any fluid in this. Or if it is, it's crap. Oh, there it is. Actually, it's not bad. That's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Not too bad. Check your magnet, and there's a magnet right here. We don't have any chunks, just some fine material, which is perfectly acceptable. All right, that was in better shape than I thought. Usually I drain these things out and they're like mud. All right, well, we'll let that finish draining and then we can fill it up. Okay, so it's all drained out. We've got the plug cleaned off, Get the plug all nice and cleaned off, and a new Nylon washer. These are just nylon washers. You can pick them up at the hardware store. So, I'll just put it back in. And tighten it back up and don't overdo it it's just a nylon washer so just snug all right so now we're back on this side now we're going to take our demand drive fluid with our pump okay i'm going to just come up in here stick the hose into the fill hole and start pumping There we go. You just keep pumping it until it starts to overflow out. Okay, so now that we got it filled up, we're gonna take our drain plug, clean it off. Make sure you inspect your O-ring. If it's damaged, replace it. And I'm also gonna bring you all down here. You can see, I don't know if the camera will focus, but 
right there you can see the fluid is just at the top of the threads or at the bottom of the threads there so that's where you want it now we're gonna reinstall our drain plug torque it down put our cover back on and our wheel and we can move on to the next section now it's time to do the transmission so on the passenger side of the machine is where you want to be working at right back here as you can see i've already put my ratchet in is the fill check plug and that's an eight millimeter allen as well just like the front and we're gonna break it free and like i've stated in my previous videos make sure that you clean out any dirt sand mud any crap that's inside these plugs before you put your tool in because you don't want to strip these out Let's get this guy out. And there we go. There's our drain plug. Okay. Or not drain plug. Fill plug. What you're going to want to do is come underneath the frame. Okay. And see these three holes? They kind of look like a triangle almost. Your drain plug is in this middle one. Oh, here's your frame. There's the holes. And there's your drain plug right there. Same thing. It's the eight millimeter Allen. Clean that out. Remove it and drain it. Now I'm not gonna remove and drain this plug on this machine because if y'all seen my other video, this is a new transmission. So this transmission's already empty, but that's how you do it. Same thing. Just take your drain plug out, drain it, just like your front diff, check your seals clean it, put it back in. Now that we've got the drain plug reinstalled, we're gonna take our AGL fluid, install our fluid pump, and same thing like the front, stick the hose in the hole, and start pumping. A few moments later. Oh, and there we go. It's draining out. So just keep pumping it until it starts coming out. Reinstall our drain plug, or uh, <clears throat> drain plug, our check full plug. Reinstall it. and tighten it up with the eight millimeter. Transmission's done. Let's work on the differential in the rear. All right, now here we are at the back of the machine and we're gonna do the rear def. Now the fill check plug is just your three eighths ratchet into it. Get in there. Again, make sure you get all the dirt out of it. take it out easy peasy nice big check plug and if we were checking it you just make sure that the fluid level is at the threads and you stick your finger in there and yeah she's low all right now it's time to get the drain plug out which you can't see it from here but it's right behind that piece of aluminum there so what you're going to want to do is get the oil pan out of the way is this hole here so all the holes are round except for this one's oblong and there's your drain plug right there okay it's a 13 millimeter so let's get that bad boy out all right so we're just gonna stick our ratchet up through this hole actually all right gonna start from here all right, so we're underneath. Put our ratchet on. It's like the blind lead in the blind over here. Jeez. Come on, get on the bolt. There we go. All right. Okay, now I can pretty much turn it with my finger. This is the hardest one. 
There it goes. There it goes. All right. Ooh, the fluid. Fluid looks really good in this one. Not bad. Somebody's been taking care of this guy. It's life. All right, so we're going to let that drain out. And we're going to fill it up. All right, now that we've got the drain plug in, now we're going to take our angle drive fluid and put a one of these on the top and just fill it up. Just squeeze it in. Now it's going to dribble out. It always does because it hits the gear and it. So this is 18 ounces of fluid. So you're just going to fill it up until you got 18 ounces in there. And basically, just like everything else, you're going to look in here and make sure that the fluid level is at the bottom of these threads just at those threads so let me finish this up and i'll show y'all so now we've got our 18 ounces in there i'm gonna show y'all there you go you see the fluid is just at the bottom of those threads so we are good nice and full check fill plug back in tighten it up differentials done Okay, so now let's get the oil change done. Real quick and easy, because there's probably a ton of videos on this. So I, I take the side cover off because it makes it easier to get in here. You don't have to, you can sneak around behind your side cover. So first thing is take your oil filter off. Love these things, these are adjustable claws. <laughs> these things get every filter off. All right, so we're going to take our filter off, put our drain pan down there. And remove our oil filter. All right, now that we've got the oil filter removed, come to our tank here. And you're going to remove the drain plug, which is a 14 millimeter. Break free. Clean off your drain plug. So there we go. Now, so we got the oil filter off. That's drained. We've got the drain plug in the reservoir drained. Now we got to drain the motor, which a lot of people don't realize that the engine, yes, it's a remote sump, but the engine does hold a couple bit of ounces down in the bottom of the motor, and there is a drain to get that out. It's on the other side so let's go over there okay so we're back over on the passenger side and uh, right there that's the drain for the engine so it's right under the stator housing and it's this guy right here okay, so to get to it down in the bottom of the frame is a big hole uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay, the big oblong hole right there. All right. Pretty much all I do is stick my 14 millimeter wrench up through there. Sorry, my camera works not that great right now. Okay, and break it free. And you should be able to reach right in here and take it out. So let's get our drain plug. Okay. Reach back in here. There we go. There's the oil in the engine. Drain it out through that hole so a lot of people don't know about that one so we're gonna let that drain out we're going to replace our washer here it's a copper washer and put the drain plug back in alrighty so now we've got the engine drain the sumps drain and the filters drain what we're gonna do is come in here and clean off our filter housing that's all nice and clean okay 
and clean off our reservoir drain plug, new nylon gasket, and install that back in the bottom of the reservoir and tighten it up. A 14 millimeter wrench. You ain't got to kill it. Okay, so now we got our oil filter. There's the Polaris number 2520799. And I'll put in a uh, in the description like the Wix number and the Fram number. So if you don't want to buy the Polaris, you don't have to. There's other alternatives. And what I like to do is kind of prime this up a bit. Now you don't want to fill it all the way up because when you go to put it on gonna get oil everywhere but what I do is I fill it up until it just comes out of the top and then let it settle it kind of primes it up a bit all right and then we're gonna take our finger of course a little oil oil on the o-ring okay and then I'll go this way because I gotta hold these hoses up hold these hoses up Spin it on. And tight. There we go. Bam. Done. All right. Now, all you got to do is take your PS4, two quarts, and fill up the reservoir tank. All right. So now we got two quarts in the reservoir. Put our cap back in. And now what I like to do, this will kind of prime the system up. Take a pair of vice grips, pinch off the top hose to the reservoir, okay? And then fire up the machine and let it run for five to 10 seconds. Shut it off. I don't know if you all heard that hiss, but you should hear a hissing noise. And that burps out any of the air in the system. And now we can fire it back up. We're gonna let it run for a couple seconds, let the oil circulate through. All right, and now we can check our level. So we're gonna pull our stick out. We're gonna wipe it off, stick it back in. And we're right there. So now we got to fill it up to this mark. All right, there's eight more ounces should be. Take a look. And we're full. All right, and there we have it. The oil change is done. Now a lot of people don't realize that you have to drain the engine as well. Most people just drain the reservoir and the reservoir, when you just drain the reservoir and the filter, that's your two quarts. Doing the engine gets you that additional 24 ounces out. Okay, so um, essentially you need three bottles. So you're going to use two fulls and 24 ounces of the other bottle. Or those uh, kits come, I don't know where you put it. Some of the kits, because those are for the newer they also cover like the 1,000, so they come with that 16 ounce bottle as well. So that gets you almost all the way there, but it's two quarts and 24 ounces to do an oil change on a 500. So um, yeah, not too bad. So within an hour's time, we got all our fluids changed. We got the front diff, the transmission, the rear diff, and the engine done, and you're good to go for another year. 
generally what Polaris says is every year to change your fluids and uh, the engine I like doing the engine every hundred hours of, of service do an oil change on it and then your other fluids once a year I do them you know you know unless you take it out and you're burying it in the mud in the water then check and if you have any water intrusion in those fluids then you're gonna want to change them but other than that once a year you're good on those other three fluids so again I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope I gave as much information as I could a little bit of news we have a Facebook channel now uh, so if you all can pop over there I'd love for you all to join um, the link if you're on the computer watching this the link is right at the top in my banner there's the Facebook channel link if you're on your phone just go to my about information and there's a link to it there come on over join there's a lot more content that I'll be putting on there as well so again thanks for watching this episode of Polaris Nuts Garage like subscribe share do what you can and I'll catch you all on the next one